What's up, guys? It's another tutorial by Young Buck Four and One, and today I figured out something amazing. Today I figured out how to burn ISO images to a disk from the PS3 Yellow Dog Linux. And ISO files are like Call of Duty Five games for PS2, PS3 games, Wii games. All stuff is in ISO files. So today I figured out how to do it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. And the requirements for the video is I really don't know if you see it, but it's a blank CD, and you need a PS3 running, running Yellow Dog Linux. Oh, and you need to download an ISO file. Guys, if you guys want, like, to download a PS2 game. Oh, and guys, also, if you're running, like, a, a later version of Yellow Dog Linux, like a 5.0, you want to update it to 6.1, you could also do it by this. Because it's ISO file. So, guys, what I want you to do is, um, so, guys, just go to PS, this, uh, you want a PS2 game. That's what I have. I have Call of Duty 5, or at War. Just go to ps2iso.com and just sign up unless you don't already have an account and just download the game you want. And if it's in a RAR, which it normally is, you're going to have to extract it by your computer. It sucks, but it's just how life is. But where I got mine from, I got mine from Tornit. And when you install PS3 Yellow Linux 6.1, you have uTorrent. So, lucky for me, and yeah. So, guys, if you already have these um, requirements... Once you have the ISO on your desktop, I don't know if you can see it, but that blank paper file right there. See, Call of Duty World at War dot ISO. All right, guys, come on over here and just put your go ahead and put your disc in your PS3. Okay. Well, guys, if you don't already have Yellow Dog Linux, um, go, click on Young Butt Four and One and go to my channel and just click on my video tutorial on how to do it. Alright guys, once you have your disk in, just give it a second to make sure I read it. Go ahead and click on your ISO file. And this will pop up. It says write. Sorry. It says write to disk and disk image 2.5 gigs. And so then once you have your disk in, just hit write. I'll say copying disk image. See, so guys, this is just simply amazing. Sorry about that. My camera doesn't like me to zoom in too much. All right, guys. I'm not. I'm just gonna skip. I'm just. I'm not gonna do this. Show you guys is because this is probably gonna take a while. So, yeah. So, guys, that concludes my tutorial. Once it's done, you can do whatever you wanted to do with your ISO file. And that's about it. All right, peace.